earplugs was something I used to use when I was uh, competing because noise is energy draining. So you're at a long tournament all day. You know, there's lots of whistles, shouting. You know what the wrestling environment is at a tournament. Um, it was just one way for me to do some energy management. You are listening to Spartan Combat on Spartan Up. Learn from battle-tested combat athletes with your host, Ryan Warner. Spartans, welcome back to the combat series. This is your host, Ryan Warner. Our guest today is two-time Olympian, Matt Gentry. He also won an NCAA title for Stanford. And in this episode, Matt shares a story about why he wore earplugs at an elite high school tournament. Enjoy it, and we'll see you soon. This episode of Spartan Up is brought to you by the Exogen Ultrasound Bone Healing System. If you or a loved one has a broken bone, talk to your doctor about Exogen. Exogen is indicated for the healing of non-union fractures and for accelerating the healing of certain acute fractures with no contraindications. To learn more, visit exogen.com, E-X-O-G-E-N dot com. All right, Spartans, welcome back to the combat series. Our guest is Matt Gentry. Now, I spoke to Matt for about an hour, but I wanted to tease out this little segment on Matt talking about why he wore earplugs at a lot of high school tournaments. And in particular, he references a tournament called Fargo. And in the wrestling world, this is the toughest high school tournament that you can compete in. If you win Fargo, you're guaranteed a college scholarship. And so as a young high school wrestler who was unproven, Matt Gentry was battling some nerves, and to counter those nerves and preserve energy, he wore earplugs. Let's hear what he has to say about it. Matt Gentry, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Looking forward to it. Me too. I found your your old blog from the from the 2008-2009 era um, oh, wow. and was able to pull it up, so I got some good stuff here to talk about. I'm excited. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure you're going to refresh some memories for me. <laughs> I got to know, when did you wrestle the match with earplugs in? What's the story behind that? Um, it was actually at Fargo of my senior year. So, you know, I really wasn't nationally ranked in high school. Uh, I grew up in Oregon, uh, the middle division. There used to be three divisions in Oregon. And uh, my senior year, so after I'd graduated, I'd already committed to Stanford. Um, I just had a lot of belief in myself. And I went to Fargo you know, I'd never placed at a national tournament. I'd never really even competed in them. And uh, I took fourth in Greco. Um, and so uh, uh, it was one of those matches. I think it was like a, one of the round robin matches to determine where I was going to end up. Um, I, I just was so in the zone that I, I kept my earplugs in. And earplugs was something I used to use when I was uh, competing because noise is energy draining. So you're at a long tournament all day, you know, there's lots of whistles shouting, you know what the wrestling environment is at a tournament. Um, it was just one way for me to do some energy management, but I was so in the zone, I forgot to take them out. I love that you were such a student of your routine and your processes around a competition. A absolutely. And I, I think that's something you know, I try and coach and give back as much as I can. And I do think that the mental side of, uh, of the sport, which everybody talks about, um, I still think it's undertaught. It's still undertaught. It's talked about and say, this is important, but um, I think there needs to be another step with coaches and it's X, Y, and Z. You know, these are the X, Y, Z steps you have to take. Not just saying, hey, this is important, work on it, but these are important, work on it. This is how you work on it, so... Could you imagine a coach saying, here's a single that gets important, figure it out. <laughs> exactly. It's like, um, you know, what are the proper ways to set goals? What are the proper ways to, you know, prepare for a match? What is normal nerves and what's, you know, anxiety that's going to be energy draining. So. All right, Spartans. I love the part about energy preservation. We've heard time and time again that humans only have, you know, call it 10 units of energy a day. And any waste of energy can lead to your detriment in an elite competition. And so Matt Gentry, who would go on to be a two-time Olympian, he was wise at a young age and you know wore earplugs to drown out some of that noise. So I know this was a quick one, but I think there's a lot of value here on a couple different areas. One, you know, consider implementing the tactic yourself, wearing earplugs at your next 
competition or event, anything that evokes a lot of nerves. Two, think about other ways you can preserve energy management so that you're at your tip-top shape when you need to be. That's it, Spartans. We'll see you next time on the Combat Series. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Combat Series on Spartan Up! Podcast. Spartan Up! is your partner in resilience for mind, body, and spirit. We're here three days every week. Tuesdays, you can find Joe DeSena, founder and CEO of Spartan, interviewing biohackers, business leaders, authors, and athletes. Thursdays and Saturdays, catch episodes from our DECA, Endurance, Trail, Combat, and LaRuta series. Do you know someone who needs a little nudge? Maybe they could use some motivation, tactics to be stronger, healthier, happier, more successful. Tell them about our show. And if you're watching on YouTube, leave us a comment. We want to know who's watching and who's listening. Thanks. See you next time.